So I'd like to cover a little company overview, then talk about uh, technology and our product, then um, talk about the markets that we cover and target with our product and our strategy, talk about our roadmap to grid parity, a word widely used these days, and give you a brief summary uh, of my presentation. Um, what is First Solar about? Our strategic objective is to get solar electricity to cost comparable with conventional energy. So that means most of what we do is focused around cost reduction and this is uh, primed through the process technology we developed and we entered into, which is um, uh, a thin film technology as we've discussed here so wide. It's a cat tell technology. It's automated and it's scalable. That is the, the technology basis and foundation uh, for uh, what we see. The other thing in order to get to grid parity is you've got to select the right markets. Um, we see that clearly there are subsidized markets here. They are transitional markets to get to grid parity and we have to use them and we have to uh, make sure that we sustain them in a meaningful way. And the third component that's um, uh, very important and, and critical to us is we have to, within PV, generally look at the environmental profile of the technology we use and employ. And so um, we have to make sure that the resources we use are uh, sustainable and that we process them in a sustainable way. I want to hit on that last topic um, and what we mean about uh, when we talk about environmental profile and sustainability, which is um, a key thing before I then go to the other aspects that I mentioned. So for us, it's a, a three-point um, scheme. And the first one is, uh, for our product, we use cadmium and tellurium. Those are mining byproducts. They are being produced. They are available. And we uh, can source them. So it's nothing that actually is not available anyway. You can choose to usable and usable and, and an environmental product, or you can choose to just um, dig them back into the ground. And those are the two choices you have. We think if you have the right product, and we think we have, then the second uh, cycle is what you really want to have. You want to think about uh, your material sourcing, talked about that. Then you think about the product design. How can we use these materials in the safest and most efficient way before you then think about the manufacturing of it? Of course, the manufacturing process that we use at First Solar is certified according to ISO 9000, ISO 14000 in all the locations. And we apply highest safety standards throughout the factory and for employees and for the product and process. The next thing is you talk about the product use, where you apply it. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. And then uh, we have added two pieces to that that are important to us. The first one is that as First Solar, we're the first company who have a, a full life cycle take back system. So we guarantee to the end user that we take back the product after a lifetime for free. We basically fund that through an external fund. It's an insurance vehicle. And so we basically make sure that we know where the product ends up and that after its lifetime we get it back to make sure that we can manage the full life cycle. And the last component is that we have our own recycling, so we are able to recycle our modules in our own plants. Every plant has an own recycling facility. We're using that right now for the few products that come back, as well as for manufacturing scrap that we produce in our own factories. So that's uh, about our environmental recycling program. And then, of course, the third component is with PV. We certainly believe and we, we are convinced that we have an environmental friendly product and we, we have a good contribution to the environment here. And specifically, our product has the lowest uh, payback time of energy uh, of all PV technologies. So that's another strong argument that we see for our technology here. Talking about First Solar and uh, the ramp that we have gone through and uh, the ramp we expect, uh, we have currently operating um, Two, one plant in, uh, in Parisburg, Ohio, that's the top, uh, top picture you see. Um, it's a first step that was built in 2005, started as a 25 megawatt line. Then we expanded that with two additional lines. We added a factory in Germany that has four lines. And that was uh, the second proof of our, what we call Copy Smart program, meaning we have a way of replicating lines and factories that is very controlled, very streamlined and standardized and enables us to hit timelines and security and product quality and how we run these plants. 
And then we started the last step of the expansion with a factory in Malaysia, which is basically four times the factory in Frankfurt order, meaning 16 lines. Currently, we have um, a, a target for this year, for 2008, capacity of uh, 495 megawatts coming out of the plants that you see there. One thing you notice is that since the first plant was 25 megawatts, we've been able to increase with continuous improvement the capacity per line to 45 megawatt-ish, it's around 45 these days. So it's not only adding plants, it's also continuously improving the process and doing that consistently through all plants and lines. That is part of the um, uh, Copy Smart program. Um, we expect an output as, as guidance we gave this uh, Q1 in our earnings call of about 420 to 460 megawatt for this year. In production, not capacity. And we expect to have a gigawatt capacity in 2009 with ramping the plants in Malaysia. Uh, looking at the cost per watt, um, a lot of you have probably seen this chart. These are manufacturing costs per watt. We um, have uh, provided the outlook um, or the, the, the confirmation that we are at uh, $1.14 per watt in uh, Q108. This has been slightly up from Q407, but you can see the trend line there. We expect to reduce these costs by around 10%. The increase is due to um, uh, exchange rate um, uh, fluctuations that we have uh, covered here, so from Q407 to Q108. And um, so uh, we believe that those are very competitive um, costs uh, in the market. Um, looking at the technology base, and a lot of that will actually be, have been covered, has been covered today a couple of times, so, um, but for us, clearly, throughput is a key measure. So throughput means we have an automated line that goes from a glass substrate to a full manufactured PV module in about two and a half hours. Um, and, um, and for us, it's a, it's a compromise. You can talk about form factors, large modules, small modules. At the end of the day, we believe a lot of this is about throughput with the cost structure you have in your factory. So getting a high throughput is very critical. And um, we have a substrate that's two by four foot or 60 by 120 centimeter. Um, and uh, uh, we certainly, as everybody doing thin film, we have very low usage of materials, semiconductor materials. And uh, we don't see any shortage for the materials that we employ. That's in comparison to a crystalline technology where we believe the process obviously is a, a batch process rather than an integrated one and takes quite a bit longer. Ideal cases are talking about 16 to 24 hours. Like, that's a theory if things were really fully integrated. 